Hi and Assalamualaikum. I am Ain Madhya Bintu Sulan. Today I'm going to do presentation about ethic and integrity in food production. So, what is the definition of ethics? The ethic is the discipline concerned with what is morally good and bad and morally right and wrong. The term is also applied to any system or theory of moral value or principles. So, what are the ethics of the food? Food ethics has emerged as an important academic discipline and a branch of philosophy whose underlying goal is to define and elucidate food ethical problems. Next is the definition of integrity. Integrity is the practice of being honest and showing a consistent and uppermost adherence to strong moral and ethical principles and values. Next is what are the integrity of the food? The condition of a food to be safe of quality, authentic, traceable, and dreaming in all its aspects, whose nature has not been altered or modified, and whose claims are honest and meet consumer expectations. So, this is the example of an ethical and integrity in food production, such as genetic modified, meat cutter, and food adaptation. Next is the negative effect of unethical and non-integrity in food production. The first one is leads to degradation of natural resources. The second one is the quality of food product decrease. And the last one is cannot gain community trust. Food adulteration is mixing cheap, low quality, and generally undesirable substances into the food for economic use. In Malaysia, food adulteration receives serious attention from the government. The offense of food adulteration is provided not only in the Food Act 1983 but also in the Penal Code. The objective of the Food Act 1983 is to protect the public against health hazards and fraud in terms of preparation, sale and use of food and for matters incidental thereto or connected therewith. Based on Section 272 of the Penal Code, whoever adulterates any article of food or drink so as to make such article noxious and intend to sell those or knowing it to be likely the same will be sold as food or drink, shall be punished with imprisonment for a term which may extend 6 months or with fine which may extend of 2,000 ringgit or with both. Back in 2017, a case of honey adulteration was reported. The fraud was only detected once a 54-year-old was admitted into the hospital. He stayed in the ward for the past three months as his movement was limited and the wound on his toes was not completely healed. He then admitted to have been purchasing and consuming kelulut honey from his hometown in Kedah. Each bottle of honey is priced between 80 to 100 ringgit and he took the honey twice a day. However, he only found out that those were actually counterfeit products after samples were tested by the Malaysian Agriculture Research and Development Institute, MARTI. According to a separate report by Berita Harian, certain sellers claim to sell pure honey based on the color, fine bubbles on the top layer and the pop sound you hear when opening the bottles. Some even went to great lengths to persuade consumers to gimmicks in demonstration when the authenticity of honey could only be proven through expertise and laboratory testing. It was also mentioned that glued honey has recently gained popularity among consumers due to claims that it has higher nutritional value, resulting in the emergence of more artificial glued honey in the market. According to the report, Mardi's deputy director, Dr. Sumi Rui, 15 out of 270 samples of glued honey tested for artificial honey with no nutrients. Food adulteration is considered illegal in Malaysia. It has been mentioned in Food Act 1983, Section 13B, Bracket 1, 
no person shall prepare or sell any adulterated food. For example, selling a product that contains or is mixed or diluted with any substance of lower commercial value than such food in a pure, normal or specified state. According to Malaysian law, the Food Adulteration Act is punishable. In Section 13, for food containing substances injurious to health, offender can be fined not exceeding a hundred thousand ringgit or imprisonment for a term not exceeding ten years or both. Section 13b, Adulterated Food, it stated that fine not exceeding twenty thousand ringgit or imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years or both. As a consumer. We must know our rights in enforcing law against irresponsible sellers who oppress us. Moreover, we should be extra careful with food that we consume and make sure the authenticity of them before consuming to avoid future health issues. So that's all from us. Thank you and have a nice day.